What's up guys, when you visit Rome, you can't miss the Colosseum, the largest amphitheater ever built. Alejandro here and from this remarkable place I'll show you the underground level where back in 1880s gladiators and animals were shuffled around out of sight. We'll see from cages to armories and trapdoors. Here we go. First things first guys, so you have to make a reservation ahead of time. So on the website Cup Culture, you'll find a couple of options, search for the arena floor only or underground full experience. Once you find it, check the price, availability, pick any day, then make your reservation. I link the website in the description below. Once we enter to the underground of the Coliseum, there are an exhibit and a Coliseum virtual reality experience, which is included in your underground tour. Basically, the Coliseum virtual reality experience shows a passageway called Cryptoporticus. This is a passageway that joins the gladiatorial school Ludus Magnus with the hypogeon of the Colosseum. As we can see, there are gladiators and referees working through that underpass. Now we're gonna explore the exhibit, which includes helmets from different gladiators, such as Murmillo, Secutor, and Provocator. The structure of the Colosseum is impressive. This is a unique experience to acquire knowledge of the gladiator's life and fighting techniques. This is another part of the exhibition where there are different types of helmets. Right in front of you guys there are Murmillo gladiator armors made of pieces of metal and leather. Definitely gladiators have to carry heavy body armors and arms. Our tour guide is explaining the different characteristics of those Murmillo gladiator armors. Actually guys, the Murmillo was a type of gladiator during the Roman Imperial Age. Guys, now we are heading to another part of the Colosseum. This part was crucial for gladiators, criminals and animals because in this part they waited before it was their turn to go up to the arena floor. So you can imagine the tension and the emotions of that moment. Something remarkable at this point, they will have water bottles where the whole Coliseum will fill up with water and gladiators fight each other. This part of the Coliseum wasn't only important for gladiators, but also for the drainage system of the Colosseum. This is amazing guys! The columns that you can see support the section of the reconstructed arena floor. Right in front of you, there is a pipe used to drain water out from the Colosseum. By visiting the underground, you get a close look at the reconstruction of the type of elevator used to lift up animals and gladiators to the arena floor. From this point of the underground level, where animals and gladiators were shuffled around out of sight, it's possible to observe the materials used to build up the Colosseum, like concrete, bricks, and opus espicatum. This material is present in a lot of ancient buildings here in Rome. This is a closer view of the elevator. Guys, I feel really excited about this experience because the architecture of the Colosseum is majestic. But this part of the hypogeon used to be dark, dirty, gross, and smelly. Now we are heading to the arena floor, where gladiators, criminals, and wild animals fall to death providing the public with a festival of gore. Right in front of you, there are three seating sections. The first one 
close to the arena floor was for politicians, emperors and important people. The other two for lower social standing. Last but not least, the coolest thing about this experience is that you can walk into the arena floor like a gladiator. Remember guys to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.